Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Complete Solar Photovoltaics for Residential, Commercial and Utility Systems. And we're here today to look into the concept of reverse currents on solar modules. And as you can see, we have two very small solar modules. Here is one and here is the other. Both of these solar modules contain two solar cells and output a voltage of one volt. And we can see that voltage on here. We're showing just over one volt right now on our voltmeter. Now on the right hand side we have the current meter. And the current meter is actually reading the current passing between these two solar modules. And as you can see it's very low right now. We have 0.011 of an amp. Now, let's see what happens when we shade a single cell. So you can see that the current has changed and now we have a current of 0 0.049 amps. So let's see what happens when we shade two cells. So you can see the current right now flowing between these two separate solar modules has almost doubled. We're now at 0 0.078 amps. And this is an important concept for people who work in the solar industry to grasp. And that is when you have shaded modules, the shaded module actually consumes power from the system, as we are seeing here. And that's why our current went up, because the current is actually flowing into the shaded module. And uh, people who have built battery-powered systems recognize this as needing a blocking diode. And that's why you see blocking diodes on battery charging systems, and that is to prevent this current from flowing between the two modules. So let's uncover them and let's see what happens. So we have one cell uncovered, so we're back down to 0 0.049 of an amp. And we have the second cell uncovered, and we're back down to 0 0.01 amp. So as you can see, shading on solar systems is an issue, and if you want to understand this subject in more detail, you can read my book that covers this subject. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the best of health. Thank you.